all right what is going on guys we're back with some more starfield here we are on our way to go to to meet keeper Achilles. Achilles. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that i feel like i hear the names all the time i just don't even know how to pronounce them but we're gonna call him the keeper we're gonna call him the keeper a because we we'll don't know how to pronounce his name but he's around the corner he's not too far um from the actual the lodge so we're gonna head over there right now at least i don't think it's that far and then we did also just like some some skill upgrades so we got some more um damage for ballistic weapons shotguns um better persuasion so if we need to persuade if we need to persuade this guy in any in any fashion or manner we probably will be good to go yes exactly it's like like when someone insults you you hey. keeper aquilus can we have a moment oh mateo it's been too long how are your parents your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean keeper when you talk about unity well does it mean anything else something secret perhaps you should talk about this inside oh that means he knows something probably privacy why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here do you not know about the attacks we've lost people keeper oh i'm so sorry to hear that and these starborn i take it they're different from the people of the settled systems there have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe beyond rational thought we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning there's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the Pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But. What if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code? A way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave. Yes, something must be there. 
I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The Enlightened work out of a well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. All right. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Let's get a move on. We need to go talk to the prisoner and we need to go to the House of Enlightenment. Is that what it, I think that's what it said. Um, oops. Yeah, House of Enlightenment, we need to go talk to the prisoner. So where do we want to go first? So the prison is already like here. So, oh, they're all here. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the lodge. It's a little, it's a little hot with the PC and the um the Xbox. Great thing they're all in the same location. That's really awesome. I love that. And we need to just figure out how to um. I think I can just go ahead and go down there. Yes? You needed something? Um... Let's just go to System Defense and see what that says. I'm not sure what level it tells us to go to. So, no. Not that one. The Nat Station. Or we can just go to this one really quick because it's like right there. Yeah. Hey, is it, did they keep the prisoners in the well? I'm not sure what's. I'm not sure if the House of Enlightenment would be down in the well. run a number of social programs from financial aid to food banks. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? We don't mean to be intrusive. Any information you could provide would be very useful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim, but... Since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? 
That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. I mean, I can give us a little bit. A little bit of detail. But you know, we're looking for the we're looking for the answer, so. But he gave us some good some little insights and and whatnot. And talking about the you know, two people and how they relate to each other. I'm trying my best to understand it. Talk to Sarah later. I don't know who he's referring to as taking it down a notch, but it may not be me. But we all in. We're hiring if you're interested. Ask in the security office. A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. Perhaps you should hear us out before you decide to cast judgment. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Anything you could tell us would be tremendously helpful. Yes, I have spoken to your Where is Sarah about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down, but the unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy, and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is not as important as showing there is no doubt. I grow tired of speaking. 
Leave me. We should have a talk when you have the time, of course. Rude. Oh, she's behind his wall. That's why we couldn't see her. Here, I have something for you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. Shot about me a leaf. Wow. You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly. You know what? I'm not even mad. At least she at least she at least she thought of us. But a leaf? Wow. Contra, when you have a few minutes, there's something I'd like to discuss. Look, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you. The fact that you risked your life to save me, I... I don't know what to say. Then I'll say it again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Sam's life. He was one of my closest colleagues. And a cherished friend. Oh, poor Cora. I'm sure the poor thing is devastated. She's lost a wonderful father. <laughs> I really wish I could believe that. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. Yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and pushing the boundaries, not appreciating the true cost of my actions. Had I not pushed so hard to pursue the Starborn, perhaps none of this would have happened at all and Sam would still be alive. Of course I can. Damn it! Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits of humankind. Yet in return, this is what the universe throws at us. Beings from God knows where who are trying to murder us. Why? What have we done wrong? No, I refuse to allow Sam's death to be attributed to bad luck. It isn't fair. The question is, where do we go from here? We keep striving and we, we stop keep exploring? pushing. Stop pushing the boundaries. Take a more aggressive posture towards the universe. I don't know where to begin. Agreed. I just hope it's enough caution that we don't leave ourselves open to another attack. Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. Oh, it was a relief to get all of that out in the open. I'm sorry I got so angry. But I assure you, it's nothing personal. You're the only one I feel comfortable talking with about these things. Thank you. Hearing you say that makes me feel a lot less guilty about monopolizing your time with my own problems. Well, we have a long road ahead of us. I suppose it's high time we get back to work. Yep, back to get to work. We gotta go back to uh, the keeper. We gotta get some more questions about this. People relating to another and. Uh, this big battle, this big I god battle that apparently took place. Bar, but a lot. Oh, man, we need 
can't find a... I want to know how we can get an apartment. I know there was a perk at the beginning of the game where you can do that, but I was like, that's kind of a waste of a perk. Well, I still want to get an apartment, though. That would be really cool. It's a shame house for so be in one of these high rises the and look outside the window. I bet we could have learned a lot from one another. Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. The next one I'm finding is named Dum Dum. What do you think? I think Endum sounds like a, a star system or something that would be in Starfield, to be honest. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Endum at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the Pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, You've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Ancient humans thought the concept of gravity was miraculous. Until we know more about the unity, we also could be jumping to the wrong conclusions. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Yeah, maybe like unity is probably like a bigger thing it's probably smaller than we actually making it to be big probably like chasing our tail but no i think it's a little bit something bigger gotta go to endum endum 2 i don't think i think it's our first time we actually going here too Those look like some ships I can steal. 
That's what it's giving. Hyena, I kind of want that one. Let's take everybody else out and take that shit. Oh my god, they're kind of taking us. Ooh, they are doing damage. Let's get a body here for a little second. Shut down our engines. Okay, let's uh That guy is crazy. Wait a minute. We might have to jump out of here. We need to do some uh, quick evasive maneuvers. What is this? No, we gotta change our guns because that. Uh, oh, the God. Jesus Christ. Whatever that EMP thing is, I don't like it. Like the, the left trigger one, I don't like that one. That one sucks. That one's just. That one's terrible. That one's really. That's our first time, like, losing. And I don't like that. What, what happens when we die? I don't even know what happens. That sucked. That really sucked. Okay, let's go to our ship. We got no. We're not. We're not having that. That's wild. That really sucked. We gotta take the EMP, the EMP thing off, or whatever that is. That thing sucks. We need to be able to like buy our equipment, like repairs, and whatnot. That sucked. That really sucked. Should be plenty of organic materials to harvest. Where are world. we? No, we need to be. Oh my god. We need to be in New Atlantis. I don't even know why we still have that landing area on the map. Oh my god, I'm I'm so annoyed by that. That's just crazy. Cause like the, our I think that's our like a weapon zero. That thing wasn't doing anything, and I'm not really happy about that. Yeah, we need our. Um, you shouldn't. Anything I can help you with? Nothing for us to do. Okay. Um, I want to buy. I want to modify my shirt. Sure. How about it? Yeah, whatever this is, I don't even know why we picked this. This is, that's, why did we even get that? And what happened to all our credits? Oh, we did buy that one thing. Yeah, the spark thing, what is that, bro? That was just a, that was a waste of space. I don't even know why we put that on here. Um. We don't want too many missile launchers. We want something that we already got a missile launcher and it already does 72 damage. So 
why we even have this? I'm kind of mad that we installed that. I'm like, what? Missile launcher only like fires at like a rate of one. But this one is doing a lot more damage. Why do you, I think I think we like upgraded or leveled up and it unlocks a lot more um, upgrades. We are gonna go with this one. Apparently, what we got right now is a fire rate of one point five. Damage goes down pretty significantly. I think we can keep that. And now we should be able to, we should be good to go now. But there's no way that we just got murdered like that. I'm not happy about that at all. We're going back into battle. If they're there, we're smoking everybody, bro. Cause nah, that's OD. That's that's nah. We're not having that. Oh my God, I'm over this. Wow. I am so over this, bro. We need a better ship. Oh my God, we need a better ship, bro. Oh my God. be able to upgrade the weapons once we buy them so they can shoot faster or whatever because i honestly just think three against one is unfair i just personally think so but you know it's what it's fine we made it on end them two we didn't count any other ships, but I'm not happy about it. I just want to steal somebody's ship and sell it. Hopefully we're not, hopefully we don't have to deal with anybody. Oh, oh, what is that? I don't think he wants any smoke with us, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, we're going to look for clues. We're looking for clues. Credits. We have credits here. This oh, is a pale bucket. Whoever lived at this homestead seemed to have settled in for the long haul. I just tripped. I thought I heard a door open. Just my cruiser 
struggle to accomplish anything, to work with other people, I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands, to work together and inevitably ask questions, and I can never help talking to us innocent enough. They want to understand how someone believes in science can also believe in the divine, but they have their own misunderstanding and still by some borderline religious remembrance. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand. So I try gently as I might to nudge their minds along the right path. And their follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. Okay. I need to search for more of these books. That was the that was the second um writing, so we're looking for like maybe like the first writing and the third. It's absolutely freezing here. Oh, I do not recommend extended exposure without our students. Came seeking the right answers, you know what question to ask. Where's the unity? I return your question with a question. If you have read my readings, what is the burden of people? We're gonna read we're gonna read the readings. These um be smart, but we still gotta find some more readings though, because like three? Like we got picked up five. Picked up one. There gotta be some more around. At least I would think. Oh, maybe let's just read um, the first one. And then, um. Because it's like the first, like, the first door, essentially. Instincts is brought me to form a good sense for them, but I, really, I remember that I'm privy to those which are not. I cannot stand to judge them for a lack of vision when I know very well the blindness for which is good sight. Okay. I just read that one. Kind of like speed reading through here. We're missing like more books. We're gonna just Who's your most formidable opponent? Myself, <laughs> technically. What does enduring contentment come from? Where are your readings, sir? We picked as many readings as we can. This guy is annoying. He's one of those. Self is a formidable. Okay, I had that correct. So I'm like, why did he not just, you know? All right, we got the third one. Okay. People are necessary, but people are madness. All right. So we got all the books. I think I had one of those questions wrong. I think I only had one. Unlock person room. 
where is the unity people are necessary which I had correct myself there we go keep seeking the truth of me in your unity if you still wish to find it there is one final piece of myself in the next room I found my own answer a long time ago but not in the way I was expecting I hope your journey gives you truth I might never increasingly though I am comfortable with not knowing the more I reflect on being here in this world in this time the more I think it's precisely where I need to be this time will be different it won't be about me so I won't have to run I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name be something beneficial I can be something beneficial leave that other person behind On Hollow 2, the island hides the scorpion, the scorpion scene hides the truth. So we need to head to Hollow 2. Find the scorpion sting on Hollow 2. see that's um that's out there that is very much out there and we are out of clear range we can't even jump that far and that's very much into the crimson fleet areas and whatnot we're gonna have to um gonna have to f try jump to a close star a close assist along your route or add he3 okay Helium three tanks. That's 117 range, so we need something like that. We need to find more ships to attack. Well, I think it looks like we're heading to Hilo. I call it Hilo two, but I think it's called Hilo. We're heading to Hilo two on the next episode. But I think in the meantime, I have to figure out how we're gonna actually get there. So I need to do some upgrading. I need to do some more research and get a better ship. So I will see you guys in the next episode.